um in today's video i'm gonna be doing um what am i doing <laughs> all right um you don't have to go baby no no Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Naraya Amari and here on Amari Aligned, I create hygiene, self-care, and lifestyle content. So if that's what you're into, girl, get in line to become aligned. Click the subscribe button now and stay a while. So it's like a spring break season and I'm finally going somewhere for spring break. So I'm so excited. I'm super excited. When I was in college, I never went anywhere for spring break. Like me and my friends just went home. So I don't know. I'm finally going and participating in the little spring break antics. So I'm definitely excited about that. So in today's video, I'm just going to be doing my uh, feminine hygiene routine, but in a mini version, like in a pack with me version, in the TSA approved version, in the what you need to take on your trip with you version. So if that's something that you want to see, stay tuned for the rest of the video. So as you can see, I have my soap bag here right next to me. And I think I am going to be using this as my carry on for my trip. Um, I don't know if it's just me, but I like to put my hygiene stuff in my carry on because I be feeling like if I get stuck somewhere, worst comes to worst, at least I can be clean. Like that's so important to me to just like no matter where I'm at, I'm gonna figure it out as long as I'm clean. So um, I put most of my stuff in my carry on. That way I can make sure all my hygiene stuff stays with me and I don't gotta worry about waiting to get my luggage and none of that. Um, or like if it's not time to check into the hotel yet or wherever I'm staying yet. I can at least like freshen up and have myself with me. So we're just going to get straight into the things that I've got. Um, I bought most of my stuff from Target because if you shop at Target a lot, you know they have like the little minis for the travel stuff. So the first thing that I got was this travel container kit. And it says right on it that it's TSA compliant. Um, and it just has like a couple like empty bottles and stuff like that so you can put your stuff in it and the next thing I got was just like this little soap dish last time I went on a trip with my family I didn't think it was important to like bring a soap dish and my cousin she's like where are you gonna put your soap like girl I'm gonna put it on the ledge in the shower she made me feel like that was like nasty or something <laughs> so for this time I went ahead and made sure to like get a little soap dish um, most of the things, this definitely, but most of the things in the travel section of Target are only 99 cents. I thought I was going to go to like the Dollar Tree and find better stuff there or like the same thing cheaper. But now that the Dollar Tree is, everything is $1.25, it's just cheaper to go to Target. This was only 99 cents. So, yeah. Um... As always, I'm still going to be packing my Dove Sensitive Soap for my trip. So I'm just going to go ahead and open this up and put it in the little container. And I'm just going to start like throwing this stuff right into my bag. Usually, I'm the type of person to start packing and un... Not unpacking. To start packing and putting everything together like a day or two before my trip. And that just makes me so anxious. So this time, I'm trying to do things the right way. So something that's definitely important so to go along with my soap i just have a washcloth even though they do give you the washcloths when you're at the hotel like i said if something happens before you get there what you finna wash with the paper towels in the airport they don't even be having paper towels in the airport for real anymore they just have those nasty ass hand blower things okay next thing that i bought from target is a toothbrush holder so the toothbrush that I have, like it does already have the little top on it. I think it will all fit together though. And I feel like a toothbrush holder like this is important because you know, in your own personal bathroom, you have the toothbrush holder that your toothbrush goes in. Well, they don't got that at the hotel. Next, I have a little mini deodorant. I don't usually wear deodorant. This is Suave Men's Active Sport deodorant, but it's spring break. I'm gonna be outside. I'm not taking no chances. <laughs> so I'm definitely gonna be wearing deodorant on my trip. 
Um, the next thing is sunscreen. I learned this the hard way. I used to think that as like a black person, like a dark skinned person, I didn't need to wear sunscreen and I was dead wrong. I was really wrong. The first time I like went on a big trip, I went to Jamaica. As soon as I got there, like I started getting sunburned. My very first shower, I could barely even bathe because my skin was just on fire. Like, and we spent the rest of the trip like trying to figure out how to make the sunburn go away. So I got Black Girl Sunscreen. They do sell this at Target. It's only um, 30 SPF, but I'll be using this on my face and my body. Um, and the cool thing about this is that it doesn't give you like that nasty, ashy shadow that some sunscreen. It doesn't give you that nasty, ashy shadow that some sunscreens do on dark skin, so. That's gonna go in there. Okay, next thing, this Dr. Bronner's Unscented Baby Soap, this liquid soap. So even though I got a bar soap, I am still gonna bring a liquid soap, and because this is so um, concentrated, like you don't need a bunch of it. Can I even open this? Got it. Oh, this is my dope. Okay, so the um thing, like the travel kit or whatever from Target, it comes with little labels. I bet like you can probably barely see it, but it comes with little labels. It says like shampoo, makeup remover, suntan lotion, lotion, hair gel, blah blah blah. So that's pretty cool. Um it doesn't have a like body wash one though. I'm gonna use this little one with the polka dots. Try to open it. I hope I don't make a mess. Ah! I said ah! I said I hope I don't make a mess and then immediately start making a mess. Not really though, I think it's still in, into the thing, which is pretty nice. Or should I just have taken the cap or... I probably don't even need this much because, oh, some dripped on my foot. Because I'm not going to even be gone for that many days. Alright, so we got our body wash filled up. And then in this next one, I'm gonna put my toner for my face. And I use the rose water toner from Heritage Store. All right, come on. Use your brain. I wanna um, film like a lot more preparation for spring break um content or whatever so i might do like a clothing haul comment down below if that's something that you guys would be interested in like seeing what i'm gonna wear or whatever i think i want to vlog but i'm the type of person like i want to live in the moment and really like have the experience so i don't know about vlogging i don't know if that's what i want to do all right so now i have like a little dilemma because this is the lotion that I want to bring. It's just the Nivea um, regular, I don't know, just regular Nivea lotion. This is the lotion that I want to bring and these are the containers that I have left and I just feel like I'm gonna need more lotion than that. So I might just buy like the mini version because I know that they do have it at Target. Yeah, so I might just do that. And then, I've got like a mini hairspray or whatever because I don't usually put hairspray in my hair but being that the place I'm going to is warm, comment down below so you're gonna guess where I'm going to because I haven't said it yet so just take a guess. But the place that I'm going to is warm so um, I don't want my hair to get messed up in the humidity and I did actually like use this today for the first time so I can see what it's like. My hair is not fully dry yet so if it looks like a little janky like that's why. Um, and I'm not really like messing with it because I want it to fully dry first before I start messing with it. But um, yeah, 
This doesn't necessarily have to go in my carry-on though because I'm not like season to do my hair. So this will probably end up just going in my suitcase. Okay, so continuing on with what I'm going to put in my carry-on. Um, I have my facial moisturizer and this necessarily doesn't need to go in my carry-on. Um, but I'm just going to put it in there because I can. But this is only 1.7 ounces and it's the Neutrogena Hydro Boost moisturizer. Um... I get this at Target as well. Everything I basically got from Target. So this I'm just gonna throw in my carry-on just in case, but it doesn't really have to go in there. It's not really like a necessity. Next, I have my face wash. So I use the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. Um, but when I first bought it, I bought this little teeny tiny one just so that I could try it out. Uh, but this is actually like travel size. Um, but now that I use it, I just use like a larger version. So I got the larger version and we just want to fill up the mini one because why would I buy another mini one? Got a good amount in there. I need to get a, um, I need to get a paper towel because I'm like making a mess with some of this stuff. All right. So in my little baggie, I got my hair moisturizer, my toner. I done forgot what half this shit is already. What is this? Body wash, face wash. And then in this little container, I have um, baby shampoo, which I use to clean my lashes. So my lashes are like halfway gone right now, but I do plan on getting them like refilled. So I'll just use this baby shampoo for my lashes. And then that is gonna go inside my carry-on. So now finishing up what I'm putting in my carry-on, I picked up a little bathing suit from Target as well. This is the tap, this is the pattern. I think this is so cute. I actually do need to try it on still. Um, but whenever I travel, I always pack a bathing suit and like a quick outfit that I can put on. Um, like when i land because i live in new york it's mad cold so when i get there like i'm gonna need to change my clothes i'm gonna dress in like cold clothes <laughs> for the flight and then when i get there i'm gonna need to change my clothes so again just in case you're not able to like check into your hotel yet or anything like that i always put like a bathing suit in my carry-on with me so this is the bottom And then as far as like just a quick little outfit change, I just have this plain black. I've actually been looking for this. I just have this plain black. Bleh. I have a plain black tube dress from Boohoo. So it's just like strapless, whatever. The reason that I chose this is because I don't necessarily need anything under it. I can wear it over my um, bathing suit even and it's like not going to look weird. Uh, so yeah, this is just something quick that I could throw on if I feel like I need to change my clothes. With this particular flight though, like I'm going to be able to check into my hotel like as soon as I land. But sometimes you're not able to. So just a quick little outfit. And with my quick little outfit, I just have some quick little flip-flops. Something else you could put on because I'm probably going to wear sneakers in the airport. So just something simple that I could just throw on and match with the outfit. It's just plain black. It's not that big a deal. Um, so I think that's all that's going to go in my actual carry-on other than like you know wallet phone my camera that type of stuff but as far as like hygiene stuff oh i also have some hand sanitizer to just <laughs> i also have some hand sanitizer to just throw in my bag um but that's not all the hygiene stuff that i plan on taking on my trip and then last but definitely not least for my hair um I always choose a gel that, no. For my hair, my gel is not gonna be able to go into my suitcase because it's more than 
four ounces um so that's always got to go in my carry-on the smaller things that i have that are actually travel size don't necessarily have to go in my carry-on they can go in my suitcase i'm just putting them in my carry-on because i want to have my stuff so if i gotta get clean anywhere i'm good um but my gel i actually need to buy a new one but i use the aunt jackie's flaxseed recipes don't shrink flaxseed elongating curling gel the orange one that's <laughs> what i use in my hair so that's gonna have to go in my carry-on and then some of the other stuff that i have i'm gonna have to bring like cotton rounds for my toner or whatever this can just go in my suitcase it's not that big a deal um i'll also be packing my vitamins with me just so i can stay on top of like my health and my skin and everything i don't want to come back and have to deal with like mad crap so packing my vitamins with me um if you want to know what these vitamins are i have another video on my channel it's a feminine hygiene routine supplement edition um then i just have like this body glitter it's from a brand called kaida but i got this from amazon and it's just gold glitter in a little puffer like it makes me feel like such a old timey lady or whatever um and i'm bringing this because when you're in the sun like you want to glisten i'll probably end up mixing it with my lotion or mixing it with like baby oil or something like that just so like when i put it on i'm shining i'm glistening skin gonna be popping when i come back i'm gonna be like mad dark and it's gonna look so weird only because everybody else is not tanned yet um but yeah my skin will be popping gonna be shining this is just gonna go in my suitcase though because i'm not like decent to have that and then another thing that i got i got this from the dollar store actually just some extra strength tylenol this is not the tylenol brand this is just um I don't know the generic brand that they had at Dollar Tree or whatever, but yeah, cause don't nobody got time for headaches, hangovers, and like that. So again, this is something that can probably just go. No, this it might be a good idea to put this in my carry on, cause you never know. Like dealing with the hustle and bustle of the airport, I might get a headache. So that will go in there. And yeah, I think that's everything that I need to pack in my carry-on and that's all of like the major hygiene things that I need If you feel like I'm missing anything go ahead and comment down below I just thought of something right now. I'm probably gonna need to grab a razor and that can go in my suitcase, too uh, But comment down below if you feel like it's anything else that I'm forgetting Because uh, I definitely want to be prepared I don't want to get out there and feel like I don't have something. I'm going to get like mad anxious and I don't got time for that. So yeah, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. I don't know what you're waiting for. And I cannot wait to see you in the next video.